My name is Andrew Polito and welcome to The Painter's Room. This is my first gallery, first digital work in this space, and I am so happy to bring it to you. My nephew, my brother's eldest son, Max, went to college with Andrew. He said, dude, you have to check this guy out. I, this friend of mine is kind of an amazing artist. You know, I'm like, okay, whatever. You, everybody says that. But I literally was like blown away when I saw his work. It's been interesting to have his particular sort of autobiographical, subjective voice in here, you know? It's like there's almost a writer's sensibility that has been really interesting to watch. And when he first installed the show, it was just the prints, you know, up on the wall. And then the next time I came in, he had put up the written explanations of them and the whole thing kind of came alive. And that's been really good for the community too, to just have that access of seeing the images and then reading his words and putting that together. It gives you a really good sense of his personality and his um, kind of artistic spirit. qualities that really got me were, formally speaking, in terms of, you know, the technical aspects like composition, color, they're really beautiful. I, I just found them very appealing, but the content was so layered and soulful and really spoke to me that his work also looks out to the large aspects of the world, like society, critiques of roles, gender, racial, like all kinds of things. For me, it was a few things. It was the sense of humor. It was a clear sense of some kind of particular point of view on the world. And this restless creativity in the kinds of images that he was making. That's the kind of stuff we like to show in this space, really. It's about making a personal connection so that the viewers that come to this gallery can have a qualitative artistic encounter that's just about one artist, one person to another person communicating, yeah. And Andrew's work has that quality. I make art because it's kind of like working through different thoughts that I can't really grapple or grasp. It's always something that I'm really having a hard time with that I feel like I can't put into words that I need to how to visualize. And that's, you know, kind of how things come about. I would put money on this guy to, to succeed whatever that means to him. Andrew truly has profound things to tell us about being human, and to me that's one of the great things that art can do. He's in a group of people that, that actually can make my life better because I get to experience it.